Kids in the building today. Okay. Assets over liabilities. I don't know. This is good. That's where my head is today. Like, know. You know what I'm saying? You got to have people who give asset to your life. Yo. Over the people that take liabilities out of your life, you know? Or you got to have assets in your pockets. Yes. Right? And so as I elevate Erica Ford Day. Yeah, it was Saturday. Yes. So how does one celebrate Erica Ford Day? So one, drum roll. There should be many Erica Ford Days, by the way. I made an announcement yes. that I will be officially retiring as <gasps> the executive director of Life Camp. Wow. And so that's one thing you do on <gasps> Erica Ford Day. And and that's why I'm talking about assets over liability. I got to elevate my life to another level. You Listen, know, you have done, I mean, an unimaginable amount of work in the time that you have been doing this so yes whatever you have going on next you deserve to have yes, in your yes. life but and I, don't, wow. I, don't know, I don't know if you can tell i, I feel like we need to we need to <laughs> have <to> Eric before <laughs> wow wait yeah. after how many years so life camp uh-huh 20 years but erica ford 35 years because like you know um uh, Tupac Code Foundation was in 94 and before that was the Black Consciousness Movement December 12th Movement so I've been on the front line for what 35 is, years what does that mean because you're still Erica Ford so what it means is I'm whoever punches in late and doesn't come to work and what they're doing at work like that's not going to be my responsibility Got anymore I, dealing with staff and running the operation on that's not going to be but building the the brand um teaching around the nation around the world mm. what i've learned in the last 35 years and training young people and future leaders and especially women in the field that's where my focus is going to be and then of course you know we got the retail license for Cushion Kemet, our cannabis company. That's amazing. And so hopefully we're Wait, making trillions of dollars. A, by the way, she funding. just dropped that. It's not a small thing. <laughs> it's not a small thing. It's not, yo. It's how many not. how many licenses just for perspective so, are in New York? Like um, I think they distributed three hundred and something. Okay, how many of them point, are or t went to women? Uh I don't know. I know I was the first black woman nonprofit. Um, to get the license. I think it's only like three licensed to women wow. led. I'm not 100% sure. So what does that mean? You can open up... Uh... I can open up three cannabis companies, wow. um, retail stores that can also do delivery and also have a consumption lounge. Wow. Yeah. So, And I'm the person who used to be like, yo, y'all smoking too much. Please move away. It's too much. Yeah. I don't even... <laughs> And now they like, yeah, and you got the license? Like, really? <laughs> but I would have never imagined. Do you feel differently years. about it now? I feel differently, yes. Yeah. Is it just because you have the license or because of of just... I feel like assets over liability. <laughs> <laughs> Do you smoke? You don't no, even smoke. I don't you don't even smoke. smoke. But I recently, because I've been sick. I don't know if you noticed, I lost 40 pounds. I didn't have 40 pounds to lose. But I've also, so that's another reason why I have to stop the day-to-day -day because the stress of the day-to-day, -day, yeah. running to scenes and, you know, dealing with all of the, the detail. Because people see what we do and they have a lot to say about what we do, right? Um, people like myself and other people who are on the front line. And they don't really know what we do, right? And the intricate details of dealing with stopping someone from shooting someone, it takes a lot of hours and a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. you know and and um and and we put it in you know i'll call you in the middle of the night or, i always or... say that about you i'm like she don't care and part of me is like it's erica but then i'm like wow she's like amazing like you don't ever let up no god forbid somebody like owed you money or something you'd be a, a phenomenal like bill collector not that but that would be fun and the but funny you're, thing oh, is you're just so on it I'm, and the funny thing is, most people who owe me money, I don't go back and collect because yeah. I'm under the philosophy, you lend the money, you got to take that as a loss. Yeah. But um, this work is full dedication. That's what I know. mean, that you just, it's, your commitment is like unparalleled. It's a process because I was annoying. I was annoying. I remember Salt <laughs> would be like, yo, I don't owe you nothing. Like, yo, stop. I don't me, owe you nothing. When I first met you, I really couldn't, I was like, wow, she doesn't let up. But then I, as I got to know you, it went from like, wow, she's like aggressive to like, I just admired it so much because it's, it yeah. really is about your commitment. Yeah. You're not, it's not self-serving. Right. You're not like, yo, right. listen to my demo. You're listening to my, you know, you're not asking for something for you. It's yes. really, you do it for other people. And 
So the, my initial thing was like, this woman don't, I just give it to her. Whatever she wants, just give it to her. Whatever she wants us to do, just put it on the calendar because we're gonna go. Because she's, ne she's not gonna stop until gonna you give stop. it to her. No. And I and over the years, just watching that, and you never got tired, and you stayed on it and relentless. But I do, I gotta imagine that that type of drive and that type of sure. work ethic is gotta be. And then it, also it, that type of trauma on a regular is. basis it has is. to take a toll on you. I'm feeling it now. Yeah. Um, and I don't, you know, I'm feeling it now. Um, I don't want to sit here and, you know, I, I, I'm feeling it now. Um, are you okay? I don't know. The uh. funny thing is, or the sad thing, and, and I'm sure a lot of people who are listening can, can relate. Like, we go through this rabbit hole of doctors, right? And nobody knows what the hell is wrong, so right? So what's happening? You're just losing weight and you don't know why? That, mm -hmm. yes. And and the breathing. Like, mm. um, I have problem breathing at night. I get... Um, choked and the mucus and all of this stuff and so and you're like vegan right aren't you like I I was a very healthy eater right I wouldn't say I'm 100% vegan mm -hmm. but I but now they got me eating lamb grass fed lamb and stuff mm -hmm. like that my diet is crazy now there's so much I can't eat and it's like no one is telling me what's wrong with me right they're like well we think it's this and we think it's that and we think it's this but nobody has said, this is what's wrong with you. And I've gone to a lot of doctors. I was going to say, you have a lot of resources. I know. I've went and to people a love lot you. of doctors. But, you know, and that's just how the medical system is right now. It's horrible. It is beyond horrible. Yeah. Um, I had to talk to um, the head of a hospital. To I'm like, I've been in your emergency room eight times. And they've not um, given me an answer. And like... I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Yeah, because I... But that's part of the work too, right? Yeah. Because I don't come outside looking like I need help, right? Mm -hmm. I don't ask for help, right? And I always look like I, you know, I try to, like I said to the young lady, um, I got the cargo pants on because they make you look fat, right? So I, I, I dress accordingly and I move in a certain way where you can't really see. And I only come out now less, you know, to... Like, I like basketball games. I like football games. I like those kind of things where you can yell and scream and cheer because it's therapy for me, mm -hmm. right? Um, but the, the, a lot, and a lot of people are going through the same thing I'm going through, you know, and they don't know what's wrong with them. I have a friend right now, he's dealing with an infection and the doctors can't figure right. out where the infection is from. And then he's right. been through a series of right. painful and traumatic, uh, surgeries and it's still right. that I'm not, I'm, I'm yeah. not trying to do that. Mm -hmm. No surgeries. And, but there has to be somebody with answers for you. It's just like, how mm -hmm. do we find the person to get the answers? You say you've been to a lot of, I've been to a lot of doctors. And like, both Eastern and Western. Uh -huh. um, I've been to a lot of doctors. But, you know, I, I, I feel that the doctors I'm going to right now are going to be able to at least tell me what's wrong and then um, set a trajectory for me to begin to gain my weight back. But I got to stop doing this work. I can't, I can't double dance, right? And so that's why Saturday I made the announcement that I'm both going to take a sabbatical and focus on my health and, and then also retire from the day-to-day -day operation in December. And in our exit, you know, I think there's no greater way to, you know, exit than this kind of collaboration and partnership. Wow, you got the orange paper plane joint? The orange paper. Is this for me? Well, I do don't I know get what your one? size is. Oh, do I get one or not yet? You I have to wait. definitely gonna get one, oh, Angie. All right, you're just on, showing now. them to me now. I can't, my ponytail gonna get oh, jacked. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. cute. So what does this commemorate exactly? So this commemorates our 20 years. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> this commemorates our 20-year anniversary. So um, why? We should leave these on the desk for the rest of the interview. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, Life Camp and Paper Planes. Paper Planes did a partnership. My friend Teddy came over and he was like Erica what do you think about this and I was like oh shit yeah those that's are fire. official that's official <laughs> you got the pin on there and everything yeah I love that yeah yo yeah. Erica I'm sorry you can't just drop that on me then, then, then just TRL ain't that your shit what do you mean your, your thing is oh the live yeah your li I know your but your is, health is like yeah, but you gotta keep is... it real with you right yes yeah, so I gotta keep oh, it real oh IRL I'm like what is TRL right, 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 right. in real life in real TRL life TRL is another CRL. yeah you may need to come to the podcast because I'm you're not alone in dealing with that but I'm no. I don't know I'm like worried about you I'm, I don't I mean I guess a lot of your people are probably more concerned they don't right? worry but you know worry are you ain't gonna, I, I can't get worried mm -hmm. right because and I and I have that fight every morning because you know when people ask you how you doing 
you don't want to say I'm fucked up. <laughs> you know, excuse me. No, but, please. Um, but you got, I don't want to speak that into my life, you know? And so I want to speak wellness into my life. I, I, you know, I can't give in to something that's trying to hold me back. And that's just, and I know there's so many people going through the same thing. And it's, it's, it's a process. How you long know? have you been dealing with this? A minute. Like what? A minute. The first time I went to emergency room was the, actually the day that Donald Trump won the election. <gasps> this long? Yeah. That was the first time. And then it, it, it got better and worse and better and worse. And then after COVID, it just took a whole nother, uh -huh. you know, um, thing. I had COVID once. Um, and really didn't have an impact. You know, I wasn't like sick or anything. Mm -hmm. I just slept for two days, mm -hmm. um, which is a sign, right? My yeah. body was tired. But I was that person. I would go, go, go until I ran into a wall, and then I sleep for a day mm -hmm. and then get back up and then go again at the same energy level, can't right? can't do that anymore. No, I That's can't. Over. Yeah. I can't. And then, you know, I'm always out there arguing with the police, arguing with elected officials, are, you know, and, and, and that also takes a toll on your body. So I... The stress is a is a is a key factor, and that's something that I would teach people. Like you got to separate what you take on, because there's a lot of things that we take on and we quote fight, and you can't you know you can't win it by fighting. You got to be strategic. You got to plan. You got to be patient, and you can't let every single person you know get to your inner skin. Mm -hmm. You got you know, and a lot of times. You know, that's what I did over these yes. 35 years. Yeah, no, you've been, you a, know. <laughs> you've been a warrior, like a real life human warrior. Yes. Um, yes. Damn, Eric, I hate this. What can we do? Like, Nothing. What, what, just keep living. <laughs> no, nah, there's got to be, you, you You show up for so many people. There's got to be some, someone, there's got to be a better doctor, someone who knows a better doctor. There's got to be something. Yeah. I mean, maybe we put this in the air and somebody yes. calls you and says, I yes. know exactly what you're going through because I yes. went through the exact same thing. Right. And if there is, definitely. Because you haven't talked about it publicly. So no. So I the fact it. that you are, maybe it will bring something to you. That's what I pray. That's what I yes. hope. That that, yes. Because I can't, can't imagine you're alone. Like, there's got to be. I, I weigh 121 pounds now. I went from 162 to 121. And it's like, and it's, and it's a lot of my muscle fat. So it makes me weak. Mm -hmm. Right. And also, you know, don't think I'm weak, though. She's not <laughs> soft. Listen, she's going nothing, through you know something, but she ain't soft. And I got an army around me. <laughs> 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 so that's the other thing. I don't move out. Like, they don't let me move by myself no more. Not that Jada is the backup team, but we got something the team says, tells there. me Jada will hey, you know what, do what she got to oh, do. Yeah, that's true, too. <laughs> <laughs> by any means necessary. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. But um, it's a process, you mm -hmm. know, and, and that's why also we got to be conscious about what we eat, who we have around. That's assets, lie over liability. That's why, you know, I put this shirt on this morning is because we got to choose what we do. We got to choose who we have in our life, you know, toxic people in our life. And I know, like, I because I said I was angry and yelling. So I was a toxic person, right? Mm -hmm. So we got to transform our energy and be patient with ourselves and the people around us. And and even on doing this work, right? A lot of times I would want y'all to do something. And only when I started working really with Ja Rule and going, you know, just seeing what he does and how he does. it. Artists are, that y'all have your own life thing right and so you're going from the studio to an interview to a show to this to that and you don't really know what's going on in the world mm -hmm. or connect what people assume just because i know you know just because it's on my timeline with my 10 people you know and my algorithm mm -hmm. and nobody else sees it but they think the world knows and so i used to treat artists like as if they knew and they don't mm -hmm. right and so it would come from a question of like you gotta do this as opposed to like me, I remember let Shaka, me tell you what's happening yeah, yeah I remember Shaka Pilgrim my Shaka who let's give give life to this right she, I said to her why 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 Jay-Z won't do something with us why why Rock Nation won't do nothing with us and she was like well why don't you do your work and if it gets to a level then people will come to you you don't have to go to people mm. and so be it here we are wow. right um how many years later but it's true Stay on your lane, stay your focus, and everything will fall into place. We can't look at each other, people, and just see because they exist, mm -hmm. or because Angie got a show, she's going to put you on because she put Erica on. No, this is 20 years of a relationship, right? Um, 
And it, she ain't put me on the show when she first met me either. It was I because did. of the... Con- but, Maybe you know, I was scared of you. I was like, <laughs> she didn't it's want a my process. <laughs> it's a process. Nothing no. happens no, I like get that, it. I get it. you know? No, you get, I get and it. So, um, so same thing with the with my health. I know that this is a process. It's teaching me something. It's mm-hmm. something I'm supposed to learn. Maybe there's a narrow space that I'm supposed to fit through, so I'm supposed to be skinny now. Also, <laughs> oh, stop it. Also, you are. So when I, when I had my car accident, I used to be like, "Why? Why did you do this? To, like, what am I supposed to learn? Right, and why exactly. did the lesson have to be so hard?" But I needed the hard lesson because I didn't know how to slow down. Like, yes. so God will give you what you need in the moment. And I pray. What I pray for you is that this is just Him saying to you, "It is time for you to take care of yourself." to love on yourself, to do things in the world that make you happy because yes. you've given to so many people for yes. so long Yes, that Eric Ford, yes. what do you need for yourself and what do you want for yourself? And you won't take a light, you won't, you won't take a light tap on the shoulder. No, I won't. I didn't. Maybe right? he got to give you 40 pounds for you right. to change your you're right. life. You're right. Take away 40 pounds for <laughs> you right. to change your life. You're, you're I pray that right. that's what it is. I you're pray. Because right. mm-hmm. for 30, I started this work at 22, mm-hmm. right? I'm going to be 58. Oh, I, well, I just turned 58 and, um, you know, I haven't stopped. <laughs> I haven't stopped, yeah. you know, um, I really, you know, sacrificed my adult life to do this work. And, you know, it, I truly believe you're right. It is a thing like you've got to sit down, you got to pass, you got to let go, you know, and it's time to, to pass the baton. You got to trust too that you put yes. enough seeds in the world yes. that the, all those trees will grow yes. and all those yeah. flowers will yes. you know blossom from mm. all the people that you've taught, yes. helped, saved their lives. Yes. Like you you've done enough. Yes. <laughs> you have yes. done more than enough. And 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 I'm gonna still be, you know, out there like I said teaching and um yeah. And you go Ho- hopefully we make those trillions in the cushion Kemet. What are you going to do with your first billion dollars that you ah, make? I'm going to buy a state of the art youth facility. And, <laughs> You're um, still doing the work. <laughs> She's still doing the work. I got to I got to put a couple of them in a couple of places and <laughs> peace mobiles around the United what States. What are you going to do for you? Okay, I'll buy an island and Okay, um, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Something for yeah, you. Yeah, I'm gonna man. definitely live on a beach. Travel someplace. the world a yes. little bit. Yes, a little bit more. Yes. It's, oh God. Yes. Yes. You I have am. to. I do. I do. I wish yeah. if there's anything that we can, any way that we can support you in any way. That I mean. You so know, I know you're coming here. out to the golf tournament. You're gonna be playing golf. First of all, I am so coming to the golf <laughs> tournament. I love that you're doing this. This is the first time. What made you decide to do this? I don't know, but I know you won the bowling tournament. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I know you won our first bowling tournament, so now you're going to win our I'm first. Very, I'm very competitive, Erica. I'm I, very competitive. <laughs> so uh, she does these events and tell what does the money go to exactly? It goes, the money to, the, goes to, the, to to hiring more staff, to expanding our work, um, and putting more peace mobiles out and about in the community. And uh, we're doing a golf tournament uh, April 24th. And um, so, how does this mean you're retiring? Like, what? I don't even. I don't understand. Because so, you're still doing all the work. But I will not be running life camp. The day to day life Correct. camp. Correct. Got it. Whoever punches in on time and whoever doesn't come to work on time will not be my responsibility. Who is running life camp now? So we're in search for a new, uh, leader? A new ED. We mm-hmm. have an interim ED, but we have to, because the board has to hire, they have to do a search uh-huh. and, and they have to hire. But by December, so anybody who wants to put in an application to be the new ED of mm-hmm. life camp and fill these shoes. You know, by all means, send your application in to info at peaceofthelifestyle.com. But you still will be doing events. I'll still events be a face. And work and face. I'll and... just show up. Okay. I'll just show up. Are you going to golf? Are you going to have fun? Can we, like, hang out? And... I'm going to be driving the cart around. Okay, all right. Do you I golf do. or you don't golf? I, I learned how to hit the ball. <laughs> <laughs> that means a strong no. <laughs> I see you. I'll be seeing you and Khaled out there. I believe um, it. I go from here. I go. I have a lesson right after this. Ah, I play all the time. Yeah, we got to get Khaled out there. Khaled needs to come play. I see him talking golf, 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 golf. He, he golf's every day. Yeah, so it's insane. He needs to come out to Queens. Well, we definitely come. And Pecos is coming. The yeah. uh, earn your, uh, 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 not Eastside, golf. Eastside Golf is coming. Yeah. I think the, I think we're playing together. I think yes. that's on all yes. of my team. Yes. Oh yeah, I think we, Kevin Lyle's got a team. Oh good. Um, who else? They said Dr. J is coming. Is Ja? Does Ja have a team? Has I think Ja's, Ja's been not in town. Oh, okay, okay. Um, he should still get a team. Yes, he should. He should. <laughs> Come on, yes, ja. ja. Come on, Ja. Yes. Um, all right, what's the date and how do people April support? April 24th, uh, lifecampinc.com. Just come to the website, sign up for the golf tournament. 
uh, and all of the other wonderful stuff we're doing. We're doing Paint on Beats. We got our Urban Yogis program. We got young people who grew up in the program are now teaching in the program, you know, which Dope. is definitely passing the baton to the future. Um, April is Second Chance Month, right? And so a lot of the employees that we hire, a lot of people we work with are formerly incarcerated. And so, you know, we created a whole system to make sure that we are helping those brothers and sisters come out of the system and not go back into the system. And mm -hmm. so we played a tremendous role in reducing recidivism here in New York City um, as we decreased the violence in New York City as well. Please take a vacation. Yeah. Like a real one. Yeah. After I'm gonna, now, now you know how you be, you be, I don't want to say harassing because it's for a good cause. No, you I, know how you be on top of me about something? <laughs> I'm going to harass you about this. Because yes. you need it. Because yes. you need to really take care of yourself. Yes, yes. I am. I promise. As you soon promise? as I finish with the doctors, okay. I'm going to take a vacation. Okay. I love that for you. All right. <laughs> well, we love you, Erica, and I thank, thank you for you. everything. And, and wow, what a leader you have been at Life Camp. And they're going to still go on, right? Yes. This is a yes. Life yes. Camp. And, yes. yes. And um, if there's anything, yes. any other way we could support you or do that, you know we're always here. Yes. Thank you. The amazing Erica Ford, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. And how do they get, get these hats? Are they for the public? So the hats get released in June for okay. Gun Violence Awareness Month. And then you get a pro proceeds? Yes. Profits? Okay, good. Yes. All right, good. Yes. And so the rock, the greatness is a process. Greatness is for And peace is a lifestyle. In order to, to be great, you got to have peace in your life, right? And so the marriage of the two entities is perfect. Perfect. Yes. Love you, mama. Love you too. Thank <laughs> you.